Mohan Kumar Mangalam, how does the opposition view the challenges posed by deep fakes and what's your sense of how the government seems to be reacting and responding to this challenge? So I, I heard what the Prime Minister said a number of couple of times that he spoke about it. And uh, I'm actually glad to hear uh, Guru Prakash Paswan talk about a more holistic approach in dealing with it because uh, the only public pronouncements I've heard from Rajiv Chandrasekhar, who's the MOS for uh, Electronics and Information Technology, was that he maintained that existing laws are adequate to deal with deep fakes if enforced strictly. But all the um, existing laws, whether that be the many sections of the IT Act, are all post facto. Uh, there's almost nothing about preventive measures there, and they also rely on the affected person or the person who's detecting the deep fake to report it. And then an FIR is registered, and then now you have to worry about how, eff how efficient our police forces in actually identifying the perpetrators. Uh, most of the rest of the world, and you know, I would say chiefly the United States, has already moved on to mandating things such as watermarking and labeling AI-generated content. In fact, just a couple of months ago, Joe Biden signed an executive order on this, and he's tasked their Department of Commerce with developing standards to label AI-generated content. There's also been a deep fakes accountability bill that first was introduced there in 2021, and I think now they've reintroduced it in 2023. Uh, the MIT uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology actually has created a deep fakes website to help people identify deep fakes. So, you know, what we are doing is we're basically issuing notifications saying that we will penalize the intermediaries if they don't take it down in a certain amount of time. But, you know, the second it's out there today, no matter what the content is, it gets viral faster than you'd have time to take it down. And by that time, the damage is often done to the person who, you know, who's... No,